subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for Microsoft Power Platform Functional Consultant. So let's get started. Question number 1, what is Azure? Your answer is, Microsoft Azure also known as Azure, is a cloud computing service created by Microsoft that is used for building, testing, deploying, and managing applications and services through Microsoft managed data centers. It provides software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service and supports and encourages many different programming languages, tools, and frameworks, including both Microsoft specific and third party software and systems. Question number two. What are the roles of a Power Platform Functional Consultant? Your answer is, a Power Platform Functional Consultant is responsible for 1. Performing discovery 2. Capturing requirements 3. Engaging subject matter experts and stakeholders 4. Translating requirements 5. Lastly, configuring Power Platform solutions and apps Question number 3. Define business rules your answer is, business rules provides you with a powerful way to enforce rules, set values, or validate data. Additionally, business rules are effective in helping to increase the accuracy of data, simplify application development, and streamline the forms presented to end users. Question number 4, what is Microsoft Dataverse? Your answer is, Microsoft Dataverse is specially meant to securely store and manage data that are used by business applications. Data within Dataverse is stored within a set of tables. It can be used in following Dataverse processes. 1. Real-time workflows. 2. Actions. Question number 5. What is Microsoft Dataverse real-time workflows? Your answer is. Workflows that automate business processes are special since they work without a user interface. People usually use workflow processes to initiate automation that doesn't require any user interaction. There are two types of workflows. 1. Background workflows. 2. Real-time workflows. Question number 6. What are custom process actions? Your answer is. Custom process actions, also known as custom actions, or just actions. Open a wide range of possibilities for composing business logic. With such custom process actions, you can perform operations, such as create, update, delete, assign, or perform action. Moreover, a custom process action creates a custom message. Question number 7. What is the difference between Power Automate and Classic Workflow? Your answer is, Power Automate has major significant advantages over the classic background workflow model. One should contemplate using Power Automate to automate your processes instead of classic workflow. Moreover, Create flows instead of classic Microsoft Dataverse workflows to build new automation processes. Additionally, you should revisit your existing classic background workflow processes and consider replacing them with flows. Question number 8, what do you mean by auditing? Your answer is, Dataverse supports an auditing capability where table and column data changes within an organization, that can be recorded over time for use in analysis and reporting purposes. Auditing is supported on all custom and most customizable tables and columns. Moreover, auditing is not supported on table or column definition changes, retrieve operations, export operations, or during authentication. Question number 9, what do you mean by compliance and data privacy? Your answer is, to help your organization comply with national, regional, and industry-specific requirements governing the collection, and use of individuals' data. Microsoft provides the most comprehensive set of compliance offerings of any cloud service provider. Moreover, their tools are for administrators to support your organization's efforts. Question number 10, what is TLS? Your answer is, TLS effectively establishes a security enhanced browser to server connection to help ensure data confidentiality and integrity between desktops and data centers. Question number 11. What are field-level security profiles? Your answer is, field-level security profiles prevent unintended users from getting access to Dataverse data based on the profile definitions. If the SQL server ACLs are misconfigured, or if there is a SQL injection issue, 
adversaries can get direct access to data in SQL Server thereby bypassing field-level security restrictions. Question number 12, explain about security roles? Your answer is, a security role defines how different users, such as salespeople, access different types of records. Moreover, to control access to data, you can modify existing security roles, create new security roles, or change which security roles are assigned to each user. Each user can have multiple security roles. Question number 13, can you create and design model-driven app forms? Your answer is, yes, with Power Apps, forms provide the user interface that people use to interact with the data they need to do their work. Moreover, the forms people use are designed to allow them to find or enter the information they need efficiently. Question number 14, how can you create and design new forms? Your answer is, in the default solution, you can create new forms or edit existing forms for all tables that allow form customization. In an unmanaged solution, you can edit the managed properties for an unmanaged custom table. Moreover, if you're viewing a managed solution, you can't create new forms or edit existing forms for tables. However, if the managed properties for a table in the managed solution are set to allow customization, you can add or edit forms to that table. Question number 15. Name the types of variables that are used in Power Apps? Your answer is, there are two types of variables that are used in Power Apps. They are, 1. Global variables. 2. Context variables. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.